Hey guys, so if you didn't see it already, I did a video on how to install the iOS 11 beta on your iOS phone, and I figured there might be some people that also want to try out High Sierra. So I'm going to show you guys in this video how to install the High Sierra beta on your Mac. So before we begin, you should definitely make a backup. To do that, you're going to go to System Preferences, Time Machine, and then have it make a backup either on the current hard drive or even safer on an external hard drive. We're also going to use this to get back to our regular version of Mac OS should you want to revert. Okay, just like with iOS, uh, you need a developer provisioning profile. Now, normally you would pay $99 a year for the developer program and it would come with this and then you could install it on your Mac and that would then allow you to install these beta versions of the software. But since we don't really want to pay that because we just kind of want to play around with it, uh, there are people on the internet who have taken some of their profiles and posted them for you to download for free. So if you click the link below to find one such profile like that, you can then click on the option on there that says Mac OS, and that will download an installer directly to your computer. So save that to your desktop. Okay, and then once that's downloaded, it's pretty easy. You just have to double click it to open the disk image, then double click the program inside there and follow the prompts to install High Sierra Beta. Uh, at some point, though, it will ask you if you want to check a box to format the drive to the new format that Apple came up with alongside this new OS. Uh, I probably would recommend you don't do that just because it's a lot of to do just to test this out. But that is totally up to you. If you want to have the new format and see how that works as well, you can also check that box. Regardless, just continue through the process and it will reboot the device a few times until eventually you'll be presented with that new fancy high Sierra instead of Sierra background. And then you can also notice in the corner that you'll see a new icon for Siri and she's also down at the bottom and that's another indication that you're on the right OS. There you go, enjoy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys find any cool features or if this helped you out. I uh, always love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please check out my channel. There's a link around here somewhere. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. And as always, Thanks for watching.